Hello and welcome for my video. In this video I will show how you can uh, create a user for MySQL um, 8 so, so your root user can get access for the remote from any host if you want. And then I will show how you can create a scheme uh, with a new database uh, and, and how you can create a new user that only have access for exactly this database. It's very good if if you have multi uh, database on your system and you're not interested in in, in single every single user have access to every database for for the security i will recommend you to only have a, a root user with remote access if you're in, in development if you're in a production only allow a local host login just for your own security so let's begin the first we want is to say MySQL you like user and we want to log in with the root and the password. When you're logged in for the MySQL, we want to create a user and the user is root and what we want is any host. Procent sign is the it's meaning any host if you want for like 10 0 0 100 you can tap that it's meaning this user is binded for for this host but in our case we want for any host and then we want to say identity five by or our password one two three four five six and everything is okay now and then we want to say grind all uh, privileges on star dot star. Star means the database, and this star is meaning the table. What we say every database on the server with any kind of uh, um, tables, and this should be for the root on any host with grand option. I have a spelling error here. What is the spelling error? Okay, I don't know what the spelling error is, but it's working this time. This is the line. Sorry for my bad spelling. And now we want to, to see this user uh, actually have access. So I have worked branch here I have my user here and we can log in you can see I have the sys uh, database here so let's continue to say you want uh, to create a new uh, schema a uh, new user with a new schema and then gain access for this for the first we want to create a new schema Let's call it test database. Whoops. Yes. And then go back here and say refresh. You can see the test database, yes, because the root user have uh, access for any kind of database. So let's create a user. We call the test user. This test user have access from anywhere. And we give it the same unsecure password. And then we want 
here to replace root with test uh, test user but we are not interested in the test user have access for everything so let's say it's only have access for test database and here we go we still have access here and let's log out let's change the connection you want to say the test user Install one two three four five six. Test the connection. We have succeeds and close. And here you can see only the test database. Uh, this test user doesn't have uh, access for 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 the system table. Um, that's how we're doing. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions. Please make comments below. If you have uh, any kind of request for the MySQL, make a comments below. Please subscribe my channel. Like it below if, if you think this video is nice and it's helped you. And I hope you want to share it. Thank you and see you next time.